across the studio? Are we truthing? Are we faking? That is the question. But we do have Catalina Marchand de Abreu to uh, sort out the truth from the trash, I think is the expression. Great to see you. Um, the first story you have is about a young boy in Burkina Faso who became a national hero and the fake news that followed. Now, explain this story to us. There's a bit of context to the story. It begins with a 13-year-old boy in Burkina Faso who became a national hero. Eyewitnesses say that he supposedly shot down a French military drone with a slingshot. He goes by the name of Aliu Sawadogo. And here's a video that someone posted of the moment that this drone was allegedly shot down by this boy. People were euphoric about it and called him a national hero. This a Twitter user even compared him to Thomas Sankara, who is the country's revolutionary hero as well. Here's more images of the moment, and here's the boy that shot down the drone. Uh, it's important to point out there are no official reports that he shot down the drone, so this is a double, uh, double fake news type of segment. But what happened is that days later, there were posts like this. So this user says it translates Ali Yu that destroyed the drone who is automatically authorized to pursue military formations decided by the president. So the per person in this post is claiming that this is the 13-year-old boy that uh, took down the drone and he was being honored by the government. But this is a completely different boy. I was going to say, it looks nothing like the kid who was being held aloft at all. Exactly. The original photo was found here in the Facebook page of the National Forest Center in Burkina Faso with the details of the boy. He is nine years old. His name is Emery Jr. Bazongo, and he was a special guest during a ceremony of this association. And as you well confirmed, uh, both boys don't look anything they look alike, very different, Mark. Don't they? Absolutely ridiculous, isn't it? Is there more on that one, or are we moving on? There's more on that. Oh, we please spoke. carry on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so yesterday, our journalist, Anthony Saint-Léger, spoke to the boy's mother, Georgette Nikema. She explained the reaction of the boy after he learned about this story by his uh, classmates. But let's take a listen to what she had to say yesterday. He had the information with the children of the village that he called the sniper. Voilà, il n'était pas content euh, euh, car ses enfants disaient qu'il a abattu un drone. Voilà, il est revenu à la maison et il se plaît, il me dit, mais mes amis m'appellent le sniper maman. Pourquoi il me dit ça Moi, je n'ai pas abattu de drone. Ça lui fait un peu honte. Je l'ai un peu rassuré et lui expliqué. Yeah, Mark, so this is a special occasion and a rare occasion where we get to see the consequences of this type of misinformation online. And we get to see what's behind the post. This was a nine-year-old boy who was embarrassed at school because people were calling him the sniper and he... Fake news. ...had nothing to do with Within it. Within fake news, it's uh, remarkable what some people are motivated to put online, isn't it? Catalina, thank you very much indeed.